afraid. <laughs> now, the, the truly bizarre thing is that I'm normally one of these people yeah. in, trying to inconspicuously take the picture of the employee of the month, which I've done for about nine and a half years. So, really weird being. <laughs> but I have the best job in the world. I, um, I design things that aren't just, you know, some widget that someone creates, which is identical to their previous widget except with slight differences, and try to come up with a concept to sell that. I work with Avid and Head Start and Special Ed and Alternative Education. I work with the Inclusion Collaborative. I work with um, Career, Career Tech, um, organization, de organization Development, HR, and um, these are just wonderful people. It's very meaningful. I know that um, when, when there's a graduation or something, and I designed something kind of cool, kids look at it and perhaps it has more meaning to them. Uh, customers come to me and uh, they come to me for my help, and they don't really know what they want. They have an idea for a conference, an idea for a class, an idea for an event, um, some new program that's going on, and they'll sit down and we'll talk. And I'll say, okay, well, is it a one-day conference? Is it, do you have one speaker, ten speakers? What do you need? Where is it? Is it a big building? You signage, and we'll just go on and on, and we'll figure out what their needs are. And so at, at, at any event where um, that you've gone to where the, the little tent over your seat matches the program and yeah. you know the, the slide on the stage that's that's me because for me it has to make sense the, the idea has to go from being abstract to being alive um, it has to be a brand and whether it's it could be anything mm -hmm. in fact I brought one example of a customer came to me they were doing a conference actually that customer is not here tonight and he says okay well I'm doing a conference okay I'm like Okay, well, what's the name of the conference? It's <coughs> Capitalizing on Proven Merit Leadership. So, of course, my first response is, well, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> and my second response is, okay, how do we get them to change the name of the conference? <laughs> Couldn't do that. So the third response was, okay, well, let's do it. And just did it. And it's actually one of my favorite things that I've done. Oh. And it, it was... It, um, the response from the attendees was great. It was the best thing that for any conference they'd ever had. Um, once again, in terms of design, I love it. It's, um, it's one of my favorite things, but it came out of trying to take that phrase, which had no meaning to me at first, figuring out what it meant, and then translating that into something visual. I go for simple, bold, something that gets people's attention. You know, we're, we're all bombarded by stuff every second. I've got a fraction of a second to get someone's attention. I want to get their attention. And uh, so I appreciate my customers having trust in me, having faith in me. I, I really care about every aspect of what goes on with them. I, I think that they, uh, they believe that. Um, so when I'm going through editing every word, because it, there's too many words, I, they're not always receptive to that at first. <laughs> But they know that I have their best interests at heart, because if you have too many words in a brochure, no one's going to read it. They're just going to pick it up and throw it away, and I don't want them to throw your brochure away. It's not worth your time, it's not worth your money to print it, let's just not print it, let's not do it. Um, so I think people appreciate that. And one thing that's um, just wonderful me, for me here is that it seems like the more far out the design I do, the more receptive people are to it. Um, and I have one example of that, and I will not take up the whole evening. Thank you. But this, this was a design I came up with for um, um, Wellness Week, and this is the type of thing that you throw together and say, oh, well, I'll never get approval for this, but it's kind of fun, so I'll do it. And um, they approved it, and everyone loved it. what I do. I make abstract concepts come alive, and it's wonderful. And the people I work with are wonderful. And um, I'm probably going to start re repeating myself, so I won't do that. Um, let me recognize uh, some people, Ken, my husband, who, um, anyone who could put up with that many comic books for, for <laughs> <laughs> deserves his own certificate or medal or whatever. Um, Ernie, who I share office space with, oh, who, once again, if we've gone this far and you haven't killed me or 
just got to say, I really appreciate that. Um, it shows real strength of character. Um, I have to recognize Patty Murphy, who I reported to for nine and a half years, and I learned so much from, and I really miss. And um, I have to recognize both Nancy Carruthers and Joan Green, who I worked with for many, many years, and uh, Larry and Andrea, who I work with very closely now, and on so many projects. Um, my best friends are here, <coughs> Dale, Lisa, Bill, Kenny, Suzanne, thank you for coming. I want to thank all my customers, and I want to thank my parents for, for instilling in me the need to point out when things are wrong, <laughs> and the desire to make everything better. And with that, I bid you adieu.